You're giving people the, the license to destroy something. I think people like that. I want to know how that chocolatier, how he painted it. I'm all about process. Eight-year-old Brandon loved creating things and smashing it and creating it and smashing it and being like, well, that didn't work. Okay, let's try it this way. From start to finish, there's a lot of thought and considerations that go into it. Today we will be making uh, the Ziggy Stardust Disco Egg. I envisioned if David Bowie was high on acid, what would he create? And that's what I came up with. First thing we'll do, we're going to uh, start painting the Disco Egg. We're going to, um, you paint the outside first, because it's reversed. And then we're going to go into tempering chocolate, fill it, and then we're going to drop it. And then we're going to make the cavity. Uh, in the cavity, that's where we put all the garnishes. Set it, take it out, and we'll fuse them together. First step is making sure that your cocoa butters are in temper. If you, if you start with some splatters and then you base coat it with a paintbrush, it really highlights all the other splatters. And then once you get to the point where you, you're okay with the way, the way it looks, you just you put a base coat of, of something on the bottom and then that kind of just preserves everything. And the beauty about this egg is not one egg is the same. So I'm about to take all this beautiful chocolate and I'm about to temper it. And then now I'm gonna to start to uh, agitate it and start the crystallization process. We have our, our, our cavity, and uh, you can see it's starting to like very quickly lose its, uh, its uh, uh, sheen. It's becoming dull. That's when you want to start adding all your inclusions. Dried apricot, roasted coffee beans, ancho chili powder, and uh, aerated dark chocolate. We were inspired by Kensington Market, all the different flavors of Kensington. And that right there is the inside of a disco egg. Take it. We'll have a nice, perfect sealed egg. And now we're going to smash it. People love it. People love the ability to smash something beautiful. It allows people to act like a kid in a way. Great because it brings a theatrical experience back to the dining experience at a restaurant. I love it when I go out to an old school steakhouse that where the waiter can make a table side Caesar with their, like, with their eyes closed. That's something I never ever want to lose. And I think this is my table side Caesar salad. I love working with chocolate is, is, is that it, if, if it doesn't work out, you just, just melt it down and it's like it never happened. It's kind of like Lego, you don't like, you don't like it? Rip it apart, rebuild it. You don't like the disco egg? Melt it down, redo it again. <laughs>